G'day. Today we're doing a transmission service on an FH Isuzu six month 2019 model and it's got the Allison transmission in it. Start off with giving it a bit of a wire brush around the pan rail there and around the spin on filter. You can see the spin on filter there. A 15mm drain plug. And you'll need a container that's probably 10 litres might come out of it. And the pan bolts should be 13mm. The filter just pulls out. And what we're going to do on this, uh, I think we did that in, in another truck as well. You take the switch plate off and just make sure that's all nice and clean in there, the little pressure switches. And those bolts should be all 10 and 8 mil. Just be careful when you're pulling the plug off, you don't break the little clip. This one's a lot lower than the other one, other truck we did a few weeks ago. And just bear in mind that sometimes little O-rings get stuck on the valve body, they don't come with the, the switch plate. So you got to make sure that that's not happening. And when you're putting it back on, you want to make sure that if those seals have come off, that you put them on the switch plate. Otherwise you won't be able to line it up properly. And there we go, that's what, what it looks like. You just want to make sure that all these little pressure switches haven't got fine metal in there. This one looks pretty clean. And there the little o-rings, sometimes they get stuck on the valve body. You want to make sure that on the switch plate when you're putting it back on. We'll just flush that out just with solvent. There's also a little o-ring on there. And you can actually see that it hasn't made service for quite a while. There's like a yellow varnish on everything. And you can see the little factory magnet there, covered in fine metallic debris. It's always better to drop the pan on these. The idea is to clean that magnet, replace the filter, and then this muck doesn't end up on all, all your solenoids and your sensors. And what we like to do is we like to add a magnet whenever we can. So demagnetised. And you can see how much muck has come out of it. There are magnets un underneath our wash tray there. So definitely worth doing. And the reason why we demagnetize it is because that fine metallic debris gets magnetized and it won't release off the metal. So it just sort of floats around, moves around in there. The same goes for the solenoids. Always a good idea to demagnetize them before you flush them out. So we've got the pan nice and clean, cleaned all that varnish off or as much as we could. Magnets clean, so you can see we like to always leave the magnets up on the ridge like that. That way you get maximum surface area of the magnet exposed to the oil. And we're going to add a neodymium magnet to it as well. New pan seal, sometimes you can reuse the old one, we're going to replace this one. We've got a new spin-on filter. That, that one's for the cooling line, that inline filter. And we've also got deep pan Allison filter. Now there are a few different types of filters, so you want to just make sure that you've got the right one for your Allison. When you're putting these magnets on, make sure you put them in a spot where it's not going to affect anything um, or the magnetic field of the solenoids or sensors and just for good measure we're going to add a bottle of LubeGuard Platinum you can google their website 
it's good stuff. We've been using it for years and it enhances the properties of the transmission fluid, especially in this sort of application where there's a lot of heavy duty work. Now you can pop the, the filter seal, you can see it there, that little orange seal, out with a screwdriver. Be very careful you don't scratch the bore when you're taking that out and that'll just pop out. You need to take it out to put the other one in. Okay, filters back on, the plugs back in the switch plate. Magnets aren't in a spot where it can do any affecting of the solenoids or sensors. We've added the lube guard platinum and we're just tightening up the pan. Just double check that you've tightened the drain plug. You don't want that coming out while you're driving along. Let's whiz off that spin-on filter and that one's just for the cooling line. And we're using the full synthetic Tritec transmission fluid, which is compatible with these transmissions. And we're just going to top up the, the oil filter as much as we can without spilling it everywhere. You don't want to fill it up right up to the top because you've got that thread there, otherwise it'll overflow. And we like to put a hose down into the pan. It'll just stop an air pocket getting in there and it, it gurgles out the, the fluid sometimes. So that's a little trick for you. And we've just got 10 litres in. They should take just a little bit over 10 litres, but because we've put the lube guard platinum in, that's, that's that 250 mil, is it? 300 mil. And you'll find you've got a, a cold level mark and a hot level mark. You always want to check it at the hot level mark because the oil expands with heat. We'll take it for a run now, just make sure the fluid level's right at the hot mark. Anyway, I hope that helps. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave any comments or suggestions in the section below. And throw us a beer if any of this information helps. Much appreciated and keeps us motivated to make more videos. Thank you for watching.